this pub is a is a passion for you, isn't it? It is, Pete. Yeah, definitely. I uh, first had a drink here 26 years ago when I was a young assistant manager, and like everybody else, spent the first half of my pint looking up in the sky at all the different <laughs> things that are around. You can't actually get away from images of, of friars going about their business. Where does the name come from, and what's significant about this this site? The Black Friars were given a charter to build a monastery here on this site, so they did that in 1180. And obviously, with all as with all monasteries, they got the right to have an inn and to brew beer. Yeah. And from then, from about 12, the start of the 13th century, they had an inn here that was here for 300 years. And that was the Black Friars Inn on the side of the Black Friars Monastery. So in homage to this site, when the refurb was done, uh, Sir Henry Poole thought it would be fantastic to take the theme of the Black Friars and depict uh, scenes of their daily life in the artwork and the freezers on the inside of the pub. So it was built in 1875 and ran as a pub and was sort of a pretty typical Victorian pub. But then a gentleman came along and bought it and it, at the turn of the century and he was a, a builder and an inventor. So he. Uh, done many things, had a bit of money to spare, uh, and he decided he wanted to have a gym palace to match all the other gym palaces that were built. I, th I think when, when you approach this pub, um, we're in the middle of an entire area of, uh, of glass and, and steel, and then you come around the corner and you see this anomaly that, that, that just is like from a bygone age. It's, it's quite a striking uh, building when you, when you first see it in its, in its context here. Uh, just a really unusual building in that it did survive everything that happened around here. It's a very dynamic environment with things being knocked down and built and remodelled, you know, ad infinitum. Uh, so there it is, like a little slice of pie, just sitting on its own. Uh, all original windows and fittings and sort of brass outside and copper. Oh, when, when you took over, what did you then find out about, about the history of the place? When the, when the pub almost closed, when it almost disappeared, yeah. that was in the 1960s. That it? was in the 1960s and it was going to go and be knocked down at, in from 1968. And there was a campaign up and Sir John Betjeman got involved because he used to regularly come here and have a pint when he used to be at the festival hall. He used to travel back out from Blackfriars on the train and uh, sort of along with Save and St Pancras, really this, this was probably his biggest save, save uh, for our heritage. You mentioned earlier the, the Victorian gin palaces uh, and how this was one of them and I think a lot of, uh, a lot of the kind of surviving gin palaces are, are Nicholson's pubs now. Uh, they really were these, these sort of people's palaces, weren't they? I mean, the, the kind of splendour you get in these interiors, a lot of people drank in them. You wouldn't even get to see decoration like this anywhere else apart from these pubs. And the whole point about the friars and the black friars, they're, they're meant to take these vows of, uh, of poverty and chastity and then when you look around this place that's not these friars <laughs> these guys are enjoying themselves and having the time of their life no and it's it's, it's like the image of, of friar tuck in, in in robin hood who was you know loved his food loved his drink and and you've got the, these guys are just they're 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 rotund they're jolly uh they're celebrating food and drink they they're actually doing everything that you would want to do in a really good pub aren't they they are they are <laughs> exactly it, i mean they're they sort of fit, fit the uh, theme fantastically. So when I was reading about Henry Poole and the other arts and crafts uh, artists and, and craftsmen who worked on this site, a lot of their work has disappeared. And, and the only other examples of their work, apart from uh, here, are in civic buildings, in, 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 in cathedrals or in town halls. This is, this is the place you can still get to see some of this. Still come in for the price of a pint. Yeah. and have a good look around museum quality artefacts. Yes, <laughs> it's a living museum. A living museum.